Bill just mentioned spotty showers could impact your ride home. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley joins us outside the Chevy Weather Beast. And Colleen, lights are out in Raleigh. Yeah, that certainly is the case, especially where we're standing right here. Check it out. RPD having to direct traffic. This is the intersection of Hammond Road and Rush Street. Uh, we're just south of 40 and a few blocks away from the Wake County Detention Center to give you some perspective. Uh, this is just one of several traffic lights we've seen out in the area. According to Duke Energy right now, 7,000 customers in Wake County are without power. A lot of those are in Garner. So this is certainly something to be mindful of as you head home tonight. As you're seeing here, obviously, Raleigh Police is here now, but some of the other intersections we've been at, there are not officers there. So you want to remember, if you come to a stoplight and the lights are out, treat it like a four-way stop. So remember to stop before you go. i got to tell you, uh, photojournalist Matt Morrison and I did see a fender bender a little bit earlier just with all the confusion with the traffic. Now, uh, the lights out, not the only thing we're seeing. I want to show you some video we shot earlier today uh, Incredible stuff here. A lightning struck a tree behind a home in Raleigh. This is off Old Village Road. And if you check out that tree, it is so charred from where the lightning hit it. We were there, and you could actually still smell all the smoke. And then look at the shed. The shed, a small shed next to that house, caught fire, destroyed. Thankfully, the house was untouched, and that family was able to get out okay, but still a really scary situation for them. Uh, so that's what we're seeing around the area. I do want to mention that. That RPD tells us they expect to be out here for some time tonight because they do not have an ETA when Duke Energy is going to be able to get here to get the lights back on at this intersection.